There is no way that anyone can fathom what it feels like to live in critical condition day in and day out for 14 months straight. It is beyond comprehension. The mind cannot make sense out of something that doesn't make sense. Whenever I used to think of someone in critical condition, I would always picture them hooked up to all of these light support systems, like my cousin who had a blood clot that lodged on her brainstem, who finally had passed, uh, like my mom that had aspirated after a surgery, and uh, fortunately, um, she did survive, thank God. And like one of my mom's best friends who had complications after uh, having uh, open heart surgery, who had also uh, eventually passed. This is a picture of my mind, in my mind, excuse me, of what critical condition typically looks like. It's hard to imagine that you can be in critical condition and actually walk and talk. And um, the critical part is in your body, what it's doing internally and how you feel day in and day out. Feeling so poorly that you don't know, honestly, how much longer you can do it. That's how I feel inside of my body. Uh, like I said, I have not been able to leave the house uh, for 14 months. Um, and uh, you feel like feeling so poorly that you don't know, honestly, how much longer that you can do this. Uh, that's a strange thing to say as well. Um, it's like a strange dream that you never wake up from. That's what it feels like. It's just like this dr never ending dream uh, that you just, you never wake up from it. Um, and this is a strange thing to say. Um, as I have gone through so many things in my life, as we all have, but I never in the past ever thought that perhaps I don't know if I can do this anymore. I've gone through so much, like like I said, we all have, but I never really got to the point where I thought, I don't know if I can keep doing this. And to hear yourself say that, it's like surreal. It's like it's like beyond comprehension, like you yourself can't even understand it. Um, I know, I, I know, to, I now, excuse me, I now totally understand how someone could think, is this worth it? Can I do this? Can I keep going this way? And, um, will I be able to keep doing this? Um, I think it's so easy to judge people. Um, so often we hear of someone that's ended their life and we say, I don't know how they could do this. They were so talented. They had so much to live for. How could they leave their children's, their, excuse me, their children, their friend, their mother? You know, I don't think anybody knows what something's like until you're experiencing it yourself. So... I get it now. The pain is so great of how you feel and you feel as if you just can't take it anymore. It's like unbearable suffering. Unbearable suffering. And if you have never felt that, again, like I've said, there's different things that we go through and you feel like, God, will this ever end? How am I doing this? But there's something, excuse me, <coughs> when you're in 
critical condition with your health, it's deeper, somehow deeper in your psyche and in your beingness. I used to lie in my bed and I used to think about if I jumped out of the window, would this be high enough to end my life? Or would some freak thing happen and I would live? Like, that's weird to say for me because I've never been that type of person. And I would lie in bed here and I would think those thoughts. Um, my illness with what it is, it causes the symptoms are deep depression and anxiety and, um, it's the symptoms. It's not like if you think positively, it's going to make your body feel different. It's going to change a symptom. It, it could possibly help lessen it slightly but the symptoms continue to create that in your beingness deep depression and and very bad anxiety um um and it, it's like if i was walking downstairs and someone was to take a corner and just say boo like i feel like if somebody did that to me like I could die from that. Like that's true vulnerability. That is that vulnerability is torturesome because it does not make you feel certain at all about anything in your life. And one thing about human beings is we need a lot of certainty just to feel like we can survive. Um, and also my symptoms are so great and so varied that if I have something, it doesn't just stay for a minute. It stays for weeks, months. And, you know, I don't know when they're going to leave. I don't know how long they're going to be here. And then they switch to a different one and then a different one and then a different one. And then you have multiple ones all at the same time. So it's ongoing constantly. Um, I realize that, you know, many people want you to uplift, you know, someone or someone feels they should uplift you. And I understand that concept greatly. Um, but I know the thing is, I know I am loved. I know that people care about me. And the fascinating thing is it does not solve the underlying vulnerability and um, torture feeling of the symptoms. It's comforting to know, um, but I am so in, in survival that it it doesn't help me at a very deep level if if that makes sense and um uh i think if you've never experienced this depth of uh vulnerability and illness that you it's it's very um you could under you could never understand how complicated it is um I just wanted to talk about being in critical condition, um, sort of what it feels like, as well as you can be in critical condition and walk and talk. Um, but there are so many other things that are going on at the same time that it makes it very difficult to live. And I really appreciate you listening to this. and. Um, Thank you so much.